Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, I don't know if this video is going to work. I'm going to try and get it done as quickly as I can. My problem is, not so much with the PC where the fan hasn't started whirring yet, and I think the microphone's fine, but with the house I'm in where there is a party going on, and there has been a certain amount of roaring of teenage boys, um, and that may continue during this video, and... It may spoil it enough that it's not a video, but if you're watching this, then it is, and that's great, because this is our chance to wish a very happy birthday to Stephen Mason, the creator of today's puzzle, who's sent it in, and um, it is his birthday, so I'm gonna give it a go. Um, I'm really just gonna crack on with it as quickly as I can, so don't forget Patreon and um, and our apps, and Sven Sudoku pad and our merchandise, all on the links below the video, but so is the link to this puzzle, Killer Caves by Stephen Mason. And I'm going to read the rules now and see if I can solve the puzzle. So, as quick as I can, for various reasons. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so that's one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box, as per normal. Now, killer cages, digits in a cage, sum to the total shown in the top left cell of the cage. Digits don't repeat within a cage. The value of cages without a given total must be determined by the solver, and digits that appear in a cage also act as cave clues. Now, we have to shade some cells in the grid to leave behind a single connected group of unshaded cells, which is the cave, with no enclosed shaded cells. Therefore, all the shaded cells must be connected by other shaded cells to an edge of the grid. So we've got a single connected unshaded area of the cave, and then walls that can be of any shape but must connect to the outside of the grid. All cave clues must be a part of the cave with each number indicating the total count of cells connected vertically and horizontally to the numbered cell, including the cell itself. Now, weren't we just told that digits that appear in a cave in a cage act as cave clues? There is exactly one digit that does not appear anywhere in the cave. That must mean one of the digits from one to nine that is always on a wall. Right. So the cave clues are all part of the cage and of the cave. I must stop mixing up cave and cage. I promise I'm not in the party. With each number indicating the total count of cells in connected vertically and horizontally to the numbered cell including the cell itself. So if this was in the cave and was a five, then these might be in the cave and that would be five cells in the cave and these would be walls that it couldn't see beyond. So it would be adding those cells that it could see horizontally and vertically. So that's not impossible. Anyway, we will give this a try straight away. Oh, that's the wrong button. Let's get cracking. Okay, so the, the cage cells are cave cells. I'm getting the right consonant into those. So I'm going to colour all of these yellow, which is my cave colour. Grey for the walls is my plan. Now, there were no rules about two by twos or anything like that. Um, it's not yin-yang at all. Now, the digits in here must be... Right, the digits in the 14 cage are either a 5-9 pair or a 6-8 pair. Now, either way round, they're going to see the same number of cells in the row as each other, and therefore a differentiable number of cells in their columns. And that difference is either 2 if it's a 6-8 pair, or 4 if it's a 5-9 pair. Um... I don't quite know what that means. The minimum number there, if this was a 5-9 pair, then we wouldn't extend to there. Uh, okay, that may not be the place to start. How about down here in a 6? Right, we can never have a 1 in the cave, because all the cave cells are connected, and every cell sees another one. So that must be a 2-4 pair. And one of them is the only other cell it's seeing is in the six cage. So for whichever one that is, we know that these are grey walls. For the other one, it reaches two north, and that can't be here because once it reaches two north, it reaches four north, and the number would be at least a six. So there's the four. 
That's a two. This is gray. Gray must always reach out to get to a wall, so that's gray. This one's obviously already got to a wall. This one's seen its four, so that's gray. Okay, so there's a start down in this six cage. This eight cage can't have a one in again, so it's a three, five pair. Not putting a one in a cage. Now, I was going to say, maybe that means the one is the digit that never appears in the cave. No, it's a digit that never appears in a cage, which is useful information. It's useful information for this 14. Yes, because once you, take, once you say one can't be in this cage, it's all different digits. It has to be two, three, four, five. So I'm putting a two there and a three, four, five triple in the cage. Now that two is seeing that cell, so these all go grey. And, oh no, they don't have to get out. Um, and now all of these see at least three cells. One of these is a three, and therefore isn't looking beyond that cell in the column. Now I've got a problem because this one is already seeing four. In fact, that is definitely seeing exactly four. So which, and this one is already seeing four, so that's got to be the five, that's the three. We get to put gray there, We've got a little sort of tree shape forming here. That five needs that to be yellow. Okay, but this is a real start. I like this. Now, where do we go next? This doesn't have a one in it, and it's 21. So does that have to be two, three, four, five, seven? Yes, it does, good counting. Um, that one's not a two. The other digits are one, six, ooh, in the box, or one, six, eight, nine. So one of these somewhere is a two. That is not any of these cells. They all see three. That's not a two by Sudoku. So that's the two, and that's the other cell it sees, and we can gray in walls around it. Take two out of those cells. Um, one of them is a three... That cell, that cell, and that cell are already seeing three. That one, not so much. That was only not a two because of the two in the column. Right. Now, it does look like the roaring has died down for a bit. This is an absolute bonus, but it'll start up again soon. There's a four in one of those cells. There's a four here. The four in the top row. Yeah, I don't know. It's in one of those. It could be in the corner. I don't know what's going on in the corners. There's a four. Five somewhere, or oh, somewhere here by Sudoku. If it was in the cage, it would be a five, four cage, adding up to nine. I don't think I can really make a decision about that. Ah, oh, now this cave has to get out. It has to join up with the rest of the cave cells. So it has to go up the east wall. Um, and then it's gonna have to join with the left side of the grid through that cell. So that's yellow. And now this one is seeing at least four already. So is this one. And that's interesting. Um, three is in one of those two cells. If that's a three, those are both gray. If that's a three, I don't know. Pity. Uh, do I know anything else about the holistic? Ah, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I was wrong. I've got to go back. I said the cave has to come out through there, but it could come out through here. Bother. Okay, um, I can't make that definitively yellow. And I apologise for claiming that I could. Now, the sun has come out and I'm struggling to see my screen. Are you struggling to see me? Yes, you are. I'm going to, I'm going to pull down a curtain here. Oh my goodness, this is... This is Madness. Can you see me at all now? Yes, you can see me clearer. Perfect. And I can see the screen properly. So that's helped everything. Right. There's a two in one of those cells by Sudoku. It's not. Now, these are a three and a five and they're in the cave. One of them is seeing two cells higher than the other one. The other one, the only way that can be no, the only way this could be yellow, this cell here, is if the three ends in a gray and the yellow five goes too higher. 
I don't know. That that could work either way round. And if that was five and that was three, that would work as well. Oh, bother, this doesn't really... I thought I'd finally found the place where I'm meant to do the next thing and I can't work out how that works. This can't be an A by Sudoku. Oh, it's up here maybe. Oh yes, this is getting interesting now. Now, that grey cell has made things interesting. We can only see a maximum four that way. So both of these must extend down. Those go both yellow. Um, and now, is what about this cell? For this to be grey, that would be a five. That would have to be a nine, but it could never pick up nine, nine yellow cells. So that is not a five. In fact, that was the only way this could be grey. So that's yellow. And now this cell is already seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the big digit, eight or nine. This is the smaller one, five or six. Now the differential between this column and this column had to be four or two. Well, it can't be two anymore. So the differential, oh, sorry, I've left the wrong digit in. The differential is four and they must be a five and a nine cell. There we go. Now, there's one more. Ah, oh, well this five, no, I don't know. We've got to put in that one because there's a maximum of four south. We've got to put in that one because there's a maximum of four horizontal. Oh, well, that did it for the nine. We've completed the nine. So I can fill those in as grey and that as yellow and the five and nine are fulfilled. Now, one of these is yellow for the cave to get out. That's probably not interesting information. Those are not nines. Um, Okay, that, that, that stuff got done. So there's a five in one of those cells. We've got a three, four, five, seven group there. Two, five, nine. Oh, this one is not three or four. That's from one, six, seven, eight. So we're almost forming a quad. I've got these yellows to resolve. I don't know, actually. I've, I've fulfilled so many of these cave clues already. And I've, I've got to think about these yellows. One is a three, one is a four, one is a five, and one is a seven. This digit can't be the seven. Oh, it could, actually. Five. Oh, that's very strange. So, okay. How about if this was grey? That would be maximum four. And that would be a maximum five. Mm, if that was grey, would, they wouldn't have to be four and five. One could be three. No, I can't see. Can't see how to use that yet. I've got thirteen cage over here. Obviously, the digits in that are going to be at least four. Um, and they're going to have a differential between the amount they see in their columns, but that differential could be 1, 3, or 5. What's this given 8 doing? It hasn't done anything for me yet, as far as I can see, so... Oh, goodness, okay, I don't know. 5, 9, 3, 4, there is a 4 there, there is a 3... I don't know. Grey cells look very... The colour of grey makes them fairly unwelcoming to Sudoku digits for me. Um, OK, there's a 5 in one of these cells. Can I rule out this being a 5-4 pair? No, let's work on this 3-5 again. That's a better thing to do. So for that to be, for these both to be yellow, this would have to be the 5. And that would be grey. That seems very plausible. Oh, and for those, I mean, this couldn't be one. Well, it couldn't, obviously can't have a one in it. I worked that out a long time ago and forgot. Um, this digit is three, four, six, seven, or eight. Well, I mean, it doesn't tell me a lot, but it does tell me that the yellow comes down to there at least. To stop, for this to be gray, that would have to be a three with yellow in those cells then the yellow would have to come out through here. Um, for this to be grey. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's possibly three in the corner. My old friend. Hmm. 
Okay, yellow has to emerge through one of those two cells from the right of the grid to the left of the grid. Now this one would stop this being a three and this being a three. This one would stop both of those being threes. So that is never a three, that's interesting. That is always at least four. I, just, I can't narrow these down otherwise. If I could take seven out of there, I'd have a three, four, five, triple in the column. It's a bit of a pipe dream, that. Nine, uh, these are from one, six, seven, eight. Nine in column seven is in one of the gray cells. Oh, that was the, the extra rule. There's one digit that never appears anywhere in the cave. Well, it's got to be in one of those two cells in box three. So it's one, six, seven, or eight. I mean, I'm tempted to believe it's one because one can never be in a, a cave cage cell, but mm, that's an interesting one now. Am I meant to be able to use that information at this point in the solve? It doesn't feel like it. Whatever digit it is that's not in the cave, it's in one of those two, one of those two, and one of those two in column seven, eight, nine. Oh, I don't know what that means. It's not narrowing down what the digit is for sure. I'm going to have to work out how these caves deploy themselves. Or I could think about this. This can't be a one, and it sees two, three, four, five. Oh! That is quite a big number, six, seven, eight, or nine. Well, it can't get enough cells horizontally, so that is yellow. Now, these cells both see at least three. This is either a three, six pair or a four, five pair. Um, yeah, that's, whoa. Right, if that was seeing all these yellow cells, all five of them, then these would already be seeing four each, wouldn't they? They would be a four, five pair. That would go gray. One of those would be yellow. Ah, oh, that's quite likely what is happening. Because if this doesn't see those two, then it has to pick up almost all its numbers to the, to the north. It would have to go all that way up north if it didn't pick up both of those. This is suddenly a very interesting digit. For either of these to be three, one of these is grey. So for that to be a three, six pair, well, by Sudoku, this becomes seven, eight or nine, but one of those is grey and all of these go yellow. And you're almost beginning to have the problem with getting the, the naughty digit that doesn't get in the cave into, into box seven at all. Ah, oh, this, is, this is important. This is important stuff. Need to get this sorted out. We've got that three, five pair. We've got a five there. Five is in one of these cells. If it's there, it's obviously a five, four pair. And that feels quite powerful. Well, we could make that grey if that was occurring. Oh, these can't all be yellow because the three here would be wrong. Right, so one of those is grey, at least one, maybe both. Yes, goodness, of course. So, the maximum number of cells that can be got from the right of this is one. So we've got to go all the way up at least to there. Now, that's interesting. If that was, if that was yellow, then this is a nine and that's gray. But then this is at least a nine up here as well. And that's no good, it can't be. So that's gray. Now, this is seeing gray in at least one of those cells. This is either six or seven. This one is down to being a three in the corner. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot, light. Right, so that's yellow to make the three work. That's yellow because this yellow area has to get out. This digit is seeing at least six already. So this can't be seeing more than seven here. In fact, it's seeing seven already. So that, that is the smaller digit in, the, in this cage. 
Uh, did I get cage right there? I did. Now, is that a seven with yellow here or is it a six with grey here? That might depend on these. These are a three and a five. If we've greyed off there, one of them goes one north and the other goes three north. So all those would be yellow. Neither of these could be four or three in that case because they'd all be seeing five in the row. So that's not what happens. That's not grey. That's yellow. That's grey. This is six. This is now by Sudoku a 5-4 pair. And the differential in columns, they're seeing the same number in the row, which is going to have to be four, and one different in the columns, which is there. So these two are both grey. Ah, hang on, that might not be right, because if that was grey and these were both yellow, that does just work. That, that fulfills these clues correctly. So I'm not right there. And therefore this is, well, it's yellow in one version, grey in the other. Oh, this is now seven, oh yeah, we knew that, seven, eight or nine. Ah, oh, come on, we're making some good progress here now. I just want to continue it. We've got that four or five pair. Wow, those boys must have gone outside. That's great for me and for you. We've got this three, five pair. We've got, I don't know. Five, nine, two. Mm, one of those is a three. No, I've got a, I've got a focus down here. One of these is a five and is going two north. And the other, so this is a yellow gray pair. And whichever is yellow, the cell above it is also yellow. Now that could be this side, in which case those are both grey to make the 4-5 work. Or it could be this side, in which case that's grey and those are both yellow. I am keeping my, my mind on the, the naughty digit that doesn't go in the cave. If those are both yellow, this is it. And then it's there as well. We know it's in one of those and one of those. We also now know it's not six. Oh, that's an interesting point. It's not seven either, is it? Because that's in the cave, in this cage. And it's not six. So the naughty digit is either one or eight. And is in one of those and one of those and one of those. Ah, Right, well if both of those are yellow, this, no, I don't know. If both of those are yellow, the naughty digit's here, but it could still be eight. Oh, wow, this is, this is, oh look, there's a four X-wing. Four's there and four there stops that being a four because it uses up the fours for columns. Uh, two and three. So this is seven or eight and it's only seeing one more cell or none in that direction. This is either the last yellow cell in this row or it's the first grey one. And this therefore is seeing two or three in the row. If it's seeing three in the row, it's a five and it's got to see two in the column. So it can't go north or it would see three. It would have to all be those being yellow if that was an eight five pair. And that's tricky from the point of view of the naughty digit. Also the naughty digit would definitely be a one at that point. And you can see lots of the places where that one would go in the grid. Because it's always got to be in gray. It would be in one of those there, there, one of those in row one, there, one of those, there specifically. I mean, that would be really helpful actually. One of those two if it was a one and definitely there. I mean, that would be really good. And that's if this was an eight five cage. Now I think seven six is in some ways the easier case. That goes gray. And then this six, which is only getting two in the row needs four more in the column. So it would have to come down to here. 
Is that right? A5 would make that yellow, and this 5 would need two more. It would have to be those two. Yeah, this is always yellow. That's, I mean, that's... It is a conclusion that I'm able to draw, but it's possibly not a very exciting one, I have to admit. I really should be able to disent disentangle this 3, 4, 5, 7 here. That would help. Um, okay, let's think again about this being grey and this being 7 and 6. That 6 is 1, 2. Well, it could be all of those being yellow. Or it could be, is it all of those? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is. And that would at least get the yellow out of the top corner. Ah, oh, it's so close to, to giving me something here. And yet it's not quite doing it. Maybe this four, five is very obvious, or this three, five, or them in conjunction with each other. Oh, there must be a four in one of those two cells. Probably not very interesting. Um, no, I don't think it is. Right. Grey there will make both of those yellow. And that would actually make both of those grey. And then this does feel some constraints. I think then this can't be a five. Wow, okay, that's complicated. So if that's grey, those are both yellow. These are both grey. That is a six. Those are its six. Oh, the other way round. If this is a five, that forces this to be the four and this to be the five. In fact, we n do we know it's that way round? Yes, we do, because this is the column that's getting more yellows than this column. Yes, we do know which way round they are. Sorry, I had not filled that in. That place is four in box one. Oh, I mean, I suppose that's an obvious conclusion, but it's hard to find that as obvious in my brain. The only places for fours in column four are those two. Now, can this be a four? It's interesting, because that, if that was yellow, in fact, these would have to be five and seven. That would already be five, so all of these would be yellow. Five and seven, oh no, that could work as well. Oh, that's so frustrating. I thought I was onto it. If that's gray though. Then this can't be seven anymore. Oh, that's so interesting. Ah, oh, hang on, there's maybe interplay with the three, five down here. So if that's yellow, this is five. Now that's five and all of these are yellow. And that's seven, we were saying. I don't know, <laughs> that seems to work. That's probably gonna be right. That is probably gonna be right. Oh, this cage is, is going to tell me so much when I know how it breaks down. But at the moment, it's not revealing it. Come on, maybe the 13 cage or, the, or this 8 cage can get me there. But, I mean, I haven't really finished the 9 cage either, have I? I know that. I do know that. It's all about whether that is yellow. So if that was yellow, ah, this is the 5. Those are yellow. Then these are all yellow, but then those top two are grey in box seven. Also, we, well, we don't get out to the north, but that's maybe not interesting. Is it, is it about this naughty digit? Is that where we go now? There's one digit that never appears in the cave, and it's either one or 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 seven, no, one or eight. Seven is in that one. It's one or eight. So if it was eight, that would have to be a seven. This would be a six. That would be shut off. And eight would have to be here in column one. In fact, this is the naughty digit in column one. That is one or eight. 
And that means that, okay, let's mark it with purple. That is the naughty digit in column, in, in box three. And it's one or eight, because we know that is the naughty digit. And it's in one of those positions. And it's in one of those two and one of those two. And is there somewhere else? Well, we know that's not it. That's not interesting. Ah, okay, this is this is new information in a way. That is one, six, seven, or eight by Sudoku in the row. One, six, seven, eight. One of these is a nine. Nine is not the naughty digit. The naughty digit is one or eight. That's not really naughty, it's just not in the cave, but it's a convenient way for me to think about it. Um Right, can that be four? Because if not, that's a four. If this was four, it's seeing one, two, three already. It can't see that, it must see that. Then we'd have to escape through here. That's quite interesting. If that was a four, then this has to be a five because it's seeing those three, four, five. It can't get to seven. And then this is the three, and this is the seven. That can't work. That, that cannot be right. Neither of those could be kept down to three. The only way to keep that down to three would be sealing this off, so that couldn't be seven. Right, this is not the four. I mean, that's quite complicated, but it's, it's true. So four's in one of those cells and one of those cells, so the four in column four is there in row four. Uh, I don't know its colour, but I know that it's a four. And it was quite complicated to work that out, but maybe I can do more here. Now, if that was a three, again, that's yellow and that's grey. Then this is not seven again. Ah, this is getting quite interesting. Then one of these two has to be seven, and then they have to extend to the right. And then this is just impossible because the only way for this to be yellow is for this to be a five, seven pair. And the five would have to have gray both above and below. Actually, maybe that's not quite impossible. So for this to be yellow, we've got seven there, five there, grays here and here, and that's yellow. So that is a group of yellow and, and it's finite. So that would have to be a four, that would be a three. Oh my goodness, it does work with three there, four there, seven here, and five here. If that's yellow. And, and it's got to be yellow because we've got to get out of here. Oh, out of the top right. There we go, okay, bingo. So now this cage is done. And I claimed, oops, I claimed earlier that that would be really helpful. So the three is bound in by gray. The five is bound in by gray. That seven is extending out to there and then there's gray. It's got to get out. So that four has become yellow. Now, if this was yellow, this is seeing six, but this is seeing about 10 or 11 or 12. So that's not yellow, that's gray. This is a seven. That has to be a six now. Oh, come on, come on. This is all gonna fall now, if I can just work out how. That's not a four, we'll start there. So this is a four, no, this is a four. Um, four, 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 is that all the fours done? It is when I write this one in, there we go, fours are done. Um, now, three, yes, that's become a five and that's a three, that's Sudoku, so I can fill in the yellow and gray for this that five and three, there they go. Now this four is complete. So those two are gray. I didn't quite expect that to fall that way round. This yellow has to join up, so those are both yellow. Everything in a cage is now completed and fulfilled by the right number of cave cells that it sees. I've said those words the right way round for once. That's not a six by Sudoku. I think everything is complete. I mean, 
it's interesting that I'm able to somehow finish off the rest. Oh no, this six is not complete. That is seeing one there. It's got, that's got to be yellow and that's then gray. Now the gray has to get to the wall. Oh no, yes, okay. The only way for this gray to get to the wall is go through a gray there and a gray there. And the only way for this gray to get to wall is if that's gray. And that is the coloring done. Um, now there's still the naughty digit to figure out. And I haven't got very far with that. So maybe Sudoku now. <laughs> I don't know. That's not a seven. Um, one of those is a nine. I, I don't like the gray. Oh, I've got a lighter gray available. I'm sorry. I'll go with that. There we go. Now I can see better. Sorry if that's been a problem for you. Um, six, four, seven, three. We need a three in one of those cells by Sudoku. That puts a three in one of those two. We've just got to find Sudoku to do in this puzzle now. That's all. Five there, three, four, five, two. We've got a nine in one of those. Don't know how to use that. We've got the naughty digit to sort out as well which appears in one of those two and one of those two. I don't really know apart from that, so not sure. Oh, that's a three by Sudoku, so that's a three. That's better, and this one isn't. Um, and three in this box is outside the cave, that's fine. Oh, three in the central box is there. So now there's a three and one of those two. We've got a little X-wing on threes to finish them off. Now maybe this is what it's all about, is finding the right digits and attacking them. Hmm. Two is in one of those cells. And one of those cells. Ah, oh, there's... No, I was going to say there's the converse of the naughty digit, which is that every other digit must get in a cage a cave bit somewhere. Ah, eight is in a cave, so it's one that is always naughty. Good, good. So that's the one in column nine. One of those is the naughty one. One of those two is a naughty one in this row. And one of those two in row eight. And... Hmm, interesting. So none of those can be a one anymore, nor that. What have we got? Two, six, eight, nine. Oh, that can't be either by, by the powers, by Sudoku. Um, seven is in one of those cells by Sudoku. Two is in one of those. Eight and nine. One, three, eight, four, five, two in row sevens. Ah, seven in row seven can't be in those cells, so it's over here somewhere. And seven in row eight is in one of those two. Oh, I'm just picking away at the Sudoku bits, gently. That's not how I want to be doing it. Um, four, three, two, seven can't be here. Two, three, four, eight, five. Three, one, four, seven, five. So there's a five in one of those two. That's not very powerful yet, is it? Don't think so. Seven, three, five in the first column could be there or there. There's still quite a bit of Sudoku to do here. Oh, that's very frustrating. We filled the cave cells and that was all the cave clues. Goodness, um, is uh, the naughty digits can only be so much help. That, oh, that's not allowed to be seven. Yes, okay, so that has to be a nine now. And this is a seven, eight pair. And this is a two, nine pair. And the other digits in the column one are five and eight in some order. To that to carry on. Eight, four, sevens in one of those. These are from one, two, six. Nine. That can't be nine, so nine is fixed in box two. Now nine in box one is in one of two places. 
And in row two, row three rather, that's two or eight. That's two, six or eight. Um, that hasn't resolved nine in the box particularly. One of these is a five. That's not so good. Four, seven, one, six, seven to place in column four, but I don't know which one is which. Two, four, one, three, five. We've got an eight in one of those cells. Seven is in one of those. I don't know. That, again, this, this naughty digit thing is going to matter suddenly. And I'm probably going to have forgotten to be focusing on it at the point when it does. That's pretty annoying. Uh, there's a nine in one of those, along with the five. What about eight? That could be here. This is a one, six, eight, triple. Three, four, two, one, three, four, five, two, six, eight. That can't be seven, and that can't be seven. Only one place for seven in column seven at the top. Now, that's eight, and that sorts out several digits in box one, very surprisingly, leaving us with a nine, seven pair. Um, these are from two, six, eight. Column one, that's become an eight. Felt like that might be a helpful digit, but it's not. But it is still unwinding this. This is so surprising. Um, just getting rid of the corner marks in that box. We've still got to keep the naughty digit one out of the yellow. Mm. So, yes, lovely. So in row four, where does the naughty digit one goes? It goes there. And now it's here in box seven, that is, isn't it? So the threes are placed there. Uh, two, five, nine. In fact, we can put in the five. And a, in fact, we can put in two and nine. And I can finish the columns of one, two, three. No, apart from that two, nine pair near the bottom. But never mind about that. We're making progress. That's an eight. So that's a two, six pair. That's an eight and we've got a six one pair at the top thank you naughty digit you did more than i was expecting there now there's a naughty one here that's not a one in fact in this column there's only one cell where one can be naughty in the gray there it is and now that is the the one in box six and oh that doesn't resolve the last two of them never mind we'll get them in a moment Six, seven pair here, two, nine pair here. They're not resolved. In this column, nine and six are resolved. With a nine at the top, six there puts eight there. This is a seven, nine pair. I can do those. And that fixes two, nine here. And then I can put a six here, which makes that a seven with a six. That six has sorted out my last two noughties. They are there and there, I believe. So the naughty digits all found hiding in the wall, spying on us as we navigate the cave, but not for much longer, because I think we're very nearly finished now. Two, five, there sorts out, two, six above, seven to finish the column, eight and six to finish the puzzle, and we are done. That's a very clever puzzle. That's a very clever puzzle, Stephen. Very happy birthday to you. Thank you for writing to us. Um, and an absolute pleasure to bring that to you. Bye for now.